Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to G Labs. So today we're actually going to be doing something a little bit differently. There's been an emergency um, has been reported on the news that there's been a chemical spillage um, in the ocean somewhere and we're the first port of call to take care of it, take a look into it and see if we can sort it out. So what we're being told is that there is a cruise ship out on the ocean at the moment which seems to have come across this uh, toxic spillage and everyone on board is possibly affected. So what we're trying to do is get down there now and um, get it sorted out. We're not entirely sure how hazardous materials has entered the water. You know, it's not a, not a regular thing to happen. I mean, literally, it literally could have been been anything or any you know anyone no one's to blame for it so uh so what we're going to do we're going to head over to this cruise ship get on board and take care of business see what's going on if it is a chemical spillage we do fear that there may be um some uh, infected people so uh we're going we're going as you can see here um we're going armed to the teeth just in case of a you know uh, you know hazardous uh, environment Zombies, that's what I'm saying, okay? Zombies. So to get armed up correctly, we're going to be looking at a few mods today. And the mods we're going to be looking at, first of all, are the customizable weaponry mod. Now what this mod allows us to do is take weapons and customize them. Give them cool loadouts, you know, silencers, awesome stuff like that, stocks, etc. So let's look at those first. So the first gun I want to take a look at is the AK-47, a classic gun great looking guns here we go now what you do is once you click select the gun that you want to use you then press C and you come up with this option here now this option here is the kind of the loadout which you can customize um, you'll see that the if you look at the sights at the top right it's got a little one next to it which means you just hit the one key and you can choose from all these customizable options now we've got an AK I want to have a, a just a standard sight on it because we're gonna be on ground level I don't want to have to like it's not a sniper, that's what I'm saying. I just want a good old sight, a red dot sight, that's gonna be fine. I don't want a silencer, I think we can have a silencer, but I think honestly I prefer it without it, because it looks cooler, it sounds cooler. Uh, there is some uh, increases and decreases, as you can see there. It does give you some statistics, so you can actually make a very uh, statistically better gun. So that's cool, but I'm gonna take the silencer off. Next we're gonna look at the receiver. We got an RPK receiver and a short receiver. Um. I quite like the RPK, but I like the short as well. So we're actually going to stick with the short. It increases my fire rate by 7%, and it decreases recoil, and a bunch of other stuff as well. Handle. Yeah, let's take the handle. Handle's always going to be good. And um, we can customize the magazine. What's the difference? Increases the magazine size. It reduces handling, but I have a grip, so I think it's okay. So let's go with that. And finally, we've got a stock. We can't really see the stock. Whatever, we'll take that stock. So here we go, here is our customized AK-47. Let's uh, I'm gonna take some shots with it. Oh yeah, we're out of ammo. We'll get ammo in a second. But this is the customized AK-47. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna customize some more guns now. So right here we've got the classic Desert Eagle. We've got a few options. We've got a sight. I don't wanna put a sight on this thing. I mean, it looks a bit ugly. I don't think we need a sight, but we're gonna want a barrel change. We've got a silencer, not on a Desert Eagle. And you can choose from the, the ammo there as well. So let's look at ammo. Increases damage. It's pretty cool. Increases aim speed. I'm pretty happy with the loadout of this Desert Eagle. So that's absolutely fine. Let's pick a new gun to um, customize. So I've got the G3A3 here. And what we're going to do, we are going to put a silencer on this gun. I've decided. But first, let's get a sight on this thing. So it's like a, your red dot sight. Okay, that's pretty cool. What else have we got? Oh man, that's what we want. Holy shit. So we're taking that sight, which is damn cool. I want this handguard grip. Oh my god, it's... I think it shoots grenades as well. We'll take that one just in case. So we've loaded out our guns, and they're looking great. There are plenty more options for guns, but these are the only ones I'm going to pick for now. Now what we need to do is get the right ammo for them. Now, I don't know a lot about guns and about ammo. So this is... All these names are pretty confusing to me. I've laid some ammos about, and you can pick them up. You literally walk up to them and press E, 
and you can gain their ammo. Now, as I said, certain ammo will go to certain guns, obviously. Um, you may have to just play around with them and try and find out which one goes to which. But what we have over here is a general supply crate. So this is going to give me ammo for everything. It would seem I'm now full. I have plenty of, um, of ammo in all three of my guns, and we're pretty much ready to go. Now, as well as our really cool guns, we've also got some little add-on bits here to help us with our mission. Now, this stuff here is to help us deal with any uh, infection or hazardous gas materials we may find on our mission. So, we've got a mask here, which we can put on. These are little filters here that you can actually put into the mask so you can keep uh, sort of refreshing your ability to be able to breathe through hazardous materials. And we have here some medical spray. If we come under attack by anything infectious that may infect us, we can actually just spray the bottle on us and we will uh, we will not be infected. So let's try with the mask on. So this is what it looks like with the mask on. It looks pretty cool. We've got a little, uh, little effect around the screen here. It's damn cool, actually. Now, we actually do have a load of other masks with us on the mission, so we're not going to need to use these filters that much. If we're in a hurry, we can quickly switch out the masks, and then I can show off some of the different um, mask templates, if you like. So I think that pretty much covers everything. Now, it's time to get onto the helicopter. It is waiting for us, and we need to go to our mission location to try and find out where this hazardous material is. So, uh, so with that being said, let's go. Okay boys, here we are, we are slowly landing on the, uh, seems like to be a, a cruise ship, I'm gonna, gonna jump off here. So we've got our gear, and we've got our masks, and we're ready to go for it, so let's head on in. What we're trying to do here is locate where all this mess is coming from, and we don't, ugh, my God, oh I thought that was like toxic, okay. Let's, um, before we start heading down here, let's just maneuver around the boat a little bit, see if we can find anything. Dude, is this boat abandoned? I'm pretty sure they said that there were people on this boat. Oh, we found a way in. Oh my god. Look at it. It how there can literally be nobody here. Okay, I'm switching between masks. As you can see, the percentage is back up. It doesn't look like anybody is on the top floor here. Oh my god. Look down here. We're actually gonna um we're actually gonna go down this way and see what we can find. Hello? Is anybody here? Dude, the overlay for this mask is different, I just noticed. How cool is that? So we're heading down into- Oh my god, is that- I thought I just saw someone. Hello? Sir? Are you- Are you okay? Sir? Sir? Can you hear me? Oh my god, what's wrong with him? He's like he's a zombie. Get on the floor, sir! Get on the floor! I didn't want to do that. I had to. Oh. Oh, sir. Sir. I don't want to kill you. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, we ain't going that way. We ain't going that way. Back off, mate. Oh my god, look at all this sewage! Oh, danger, here we go, look. Toxic waste. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't know how this toxic waste stuff got here, but we're gonna have to remove it. I'm just gonna change my mask out super quick. Right, let's start by uh, getting this skanky sewage out. Biohazard. Yeah, you shouldn't have this in the in your water system on your boats. So obviously that's what's happened here, it's uh, the people have been gassed out by biohazard. So what we need to do now is get this off the boat. Now we need to do that in the most responsible way possible.
Well, boys, it looks like we did it. it. Looks like we we saved the boat. I mean, we had to kill a few people. It was probably everyone on board actually got infected by that, but um, it's no big deal. It looks like it's okay now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that looks like it is it. We have saved the day once again. Anyway, I need to get back to the research lab. I've got a few things I need to be researching into. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye now.